working with Google Slides. That's right, Google Slides. You can use it as a drawing tool. And actually, I have some of the most, uh, I have some, you know, Adobe Illustrator, some advanced drawing stuff. And this, you can draw some cool stuff right in Google Slides, especially if you do not have art supplies at home or you're looking to do a project or you want to make some cool clip art. You can do it right in Google Slides. Today, we're going to talk about grouping shapes sort of a basic thing but it'll help you to get uh, into some more advanced stuff and we're going to start by drawing I'm going to give you a bonus cool eyeball trick whenever you're drawing something it's made up of shapes just basic shapes there are a lot of basic shapes in google slides so check this out we're just going to draw by holding on the shift key and the shape we're going to make a circle if you don't hold the shift key, it's not going to make a circle at all. Let's show you what it'll make. Um, it'll make a squircle, something that's circle-like. Uh, but if you want to maintain the shape, hold down shift. Control X or Command X will get rid of that. Now, we're going to click on that. And up here, we're going to get rid of the border. So that black line on the outside. Um, actually, first, I want the inside to be all black. So I'm turning that black. I want the outside, that little border that you cannot see anymore, I'm going to get rid of it. So I'm going to make it transparent. Now, this is going to be an eyeball. And here's a little cool trick. If you draw a little white speck in any black dot, it looks like an eyeball. <laughs> it looks, uh, it's a really cool, easy trick. I'm not exactly sure why it works, but it, it's, especially if you're drawing cartoons, it's a, it's a neat trick. So, um, I'm going to show you, you can copy shapes, control C, control V. I just copied that same shape uh, and I'm going to change its color so I don't have to go back. And now I'm going to shrink that down by holding shift and boom, I got sort of a pupil of an eye. Look, if it's like a close up, like we're, um, looking right at, you know, someone's eyeball, um, pupil, I should say. Okay, so here's what I want to show you very quickly because this is going to come important if you want to get to more advanced stuff. If I'm moving this around, this can be a really has real hassle because you see I'm going to create something, but I want this to be one thing. So you can do that by something called grouping. So if you click on um, this shape, hold down shift, click on this, and you go up to here to arrange and then group. You've created a new shape that sort of goes together. They go together. You can resize them and they'll both resize together, which is really, really important. So if we go control C, control V, we now can copy and we have two of them. You can make it one bigger, one smaller. You can make one super, super large. And so um, that's the, the basic trick today um we're gonna go to lesson three we're gonna oh wait where'd that come from get rid of that um le lesson three we're gonna do some more advanced stuff um with grouping and we're gonna get add a little each time so um and i might add something to the background to make this just look more interesting let's go a circle what if i did that Now you can see I covered up my shape. Um, that's because things are arranged in layers. So you got to go to order. I want this thing I just put on top. I want to send it all the way to the back. I'm going to change my border to something thicker. Kind of like that. Now I can mess around. All knowing eye. What would red do? Oh, kind of interesting. Might stand out purple. Ooh, that kind of looks like an alien eye. I might leave that. Maybe go change the border to like a dark purple or something. A little lighter purple. Ooh, the all-knowing eye. That kind of looks like a cool eyeball. It's like staring down at us. Let's keep it on there. Um, move it over a little bit. Move it over. All right. So we've got an eyeball. You know what? I think getting rid of that, that white with a little cool, a 
Let's just put some more green background on there. See what happens. I love th this purple with some green. So let's change this to green. Let's arrange it. Let's order it. Send it to the back. Ooh. Now move this over. Make it just a hair smaller. All right, the eyeball's staring at you. Um, maybe go even thicker here on the outside. Go up to this one, changes the size of the border. Let's go even thicker. Maybe even bigger. Yeah, I kind of like that look. Here's another trick. If you like something, like I kind of like this, but I want to mess around with it too. Go to the slide and just duplicate the slide and you'll have another one and you'll be working. Notice here you're in yellow, you're working on that one and you can change some things. So if you want to change the shapes, let's get rid of that thing. I don't know where that came from. Change the sizes just to see different looks. Ah. Let's copy and paste. Now, since you have them grouped, you can copy and paste them together. Go a little smaller. And you kind of got a different look going on. All right, that was grouping shapes, using shapes, grouping, just a slightly more advanced thing you can do with Google Slides. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, go to the next lesson, lesson three. We're going to get a little trickier each time.